Hi, welcome back to Art of Awakening. This is Ona Christie, and since there's been a huge amount of interest in the Lion's Gate coming up on August 8th, and I shared a video about that a couple weeks ago, and I just uh, have been given a little bit of more information to send out to you guys that relates to the Lion's Gate. It also relates to the last video that I made about the galactic calendar. And so I just wanted to share a little bit about how these two fit together, as well as some information to maybe help you navigate through this, this coming year. So I am just going to share a whiteboard here. And because there's some concepts that um, will be helpful to get across in that way. Okay, so let's see here. Um, okay, so the first thing is um, with the, the galactic calendar. It's based on the Mayan calendar, although it's not the Mayan calendar, but it has a lot of influence from it. And, oh, there we go. <laughs> um, okay, so the Mayan calendar starts the year, and the galactic calendar as well, starts the year in the middle of the summer, okay, uh, July 26th, which is just after uh, about a month or so after the the solar the solstice the summer solstice and i got to wondering why it seems like a strange time of year to start a new a new year um you know when the sun is still pretty much it, close to its peak but what was told to me when i i kind of thought about this and i woke up the next morning knowing kind of having been been given the answer is that about a month or so is after after the the summer solstice is when the lion's gate portal begins right we're in that right now and the lion's gate actually is 8 8 uh, august 8th when the um the sun and sirius the star sirius align and so what this represents is this um, the solar journey throughout the year, right? And this is the beginning of a new cycle through the year where the sun has is starting to come down off its apex, right? So if that's the sun, and then we can uh, kind of show the progression of the sun. If you start at this time of year, um, you know, if this is sort of like the, <laughs> whoops uh kind of like the equinox where the sun is uh at the um during the the summer between the spring equinox and the fall equinox you're going to get the sun what i consider kind of at the the above the horizon kind of thing right where the sun is going to be prevalent in the sky longer than the nighttime right the day is longer than the night and so when we hit the equinox the sun begins to um, spend more time underneath the horizon than it does right during the day. And here we're gonna, I'm just gonna sort of put the sun as a, right. And here again, when it comes up again in the spring equinox, we're gonna get the sun coming up to the, the solstice, right? And so we have this progression that the sun moves through, right? Moving down and up. And the reason this is important is that the sun represents the self, right? As far as, um, you know, the spiritual representation of the sun. And so when we start at this time of year, it represents the cycle, the hero's journey that we go through, um, that, we, that our soul has to go through in order to up level to a new level of consciousness, right? So we go down, we have some kind of a dark night of the soul experience, and then we come up out of that, you know, risen again. And so this is the the hero's journey cycle. And we see that in, it's like, the rising of the Christ consciousness, right? Um, we see that in the Christ story. We see that in the story of Horus. A lot of these uh, heroes that uh, die and are resurrected. Okay, this is very, very prevalent theme in mythology, and it has to do with the um, 
the development of the self, right? Um, towards enlightenment. We go through many, many cycles like this. And so the sun really represents this annual cycle and um, tells us that we may go through many, many of these cycles, right? Typically in a lifetime, we may have one, maybe two, um, uh, you know, but usually just one major, major cycle like this per lifetime. And you may be in the middle of that. Um, it, collectively, we go through these cycles as well. And this year in particular, we're, we're seeing uh, the beginning of a great, 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 great new cycle um, where the collective is starting to do this. Um, okay, and so why, so that kind of puts it into perspective around the Lion's Gate because the Lion's Gate is this initiating energy um, when we're when we're aligning with with Sirius, which is this um, the star here that it it kind of represents spirit, right? This the the wind of spirit, and driving some energy here into the sun, right? So this is an initiation of spiritual energy into the self. Um, in this case. Right now, we're, we're really experiencing this into the collective self, and it can create all sorts of <laughs> turmoil and initiate this dark soul of night of the soul kind of journey. Okay, it's my feeling that in the next decade, we're going to see an, an interesting sort of collective dark, dark night of the soul happening. But just keep in mind that, you know, if you see everything starting to fall apart, it, this is part of the cycle, okay? And the whole idea is we're going to be coming back up, right? And experiencing a renewal of resurrection and that usually is going to be actually bigger um, and and higher <laughs> and more advanced right than than we would get let me see if i can get a bigger one there we go <laughs> you know it's it's going to be a greater thing right so we're we're really tr it's a transcending thing it's the alchemy of um awakening Okay, so how do we how do we navigate this? Because this can be a very very intense process. Well, what I'm being shown, and this is part of a whole system that I'm being shown on, kind of teaching teaching the awakening process and how to how to navigate it. Um, I'm likely going to be um, offering this as just a class or something at some point when they tell me it's ready, which I don't know when, but if you're interested in that, then just put your comment below and uh, just like the channel and follow along. Um, but it's what I'm being shown. This is part of, of the system here is uh, utilizing the idea of the four directions. And again, this is nothing new, right? So um, it's just being shown to me to teach in a certain way. And so utilizing the four directions, right? So we have north, east, south, west. And the beauty of this, of course, this is the medicine wheel, but it shows up in many, many, many different tra traditions. It's uh, the Celtic tra tradition uses this. Even the, like the Christian cross, you're gonna see this cross sort of symbol pop up in so many traditions. Um, I mean, even like, uh, you know, say the Christians cross the medicine wheel, the um, Hindu like swastika is kind of like a wheel of life. Um, swastika was co-opted by the Nazis, but it originally was a very, very positive symbol. And even like the healing cross, the red cross, right? That's worn by healers. It kind of alludes to this idea and that we can take these four directions. And the reason it's important, think of the compass rose. It's right it's how navigators find their direction and figure out where they're, where they are and where they're supposed to be, where they're trying to go. Right. So this is very, very useful when you're trying to navigate. And this is like the personal journey, right. Trying to figure out how we're, you know, how we're going to step into our purpose, step onto our higher timeline. Um, and here's what I'm being shown is that you can also assign the four, bodies right so this would be um let me try and get a change color change here so the mind 
Woo. Maybe it's easier if I type it, right? Uh, spirit. It's not giving me the right color here. And this would be the emotions. And up here is the body, right? And then this is going to be very familiar to almost all of you, but right here, so they're showing me <laughs> a little off center here. Right here is where we want to be, which is aligned in the middle, right? To be very aware. This is the kind of like the point of power, right? This is the awareness. So if you can think of yourself as the consciousness, as the awareness that's right in the middle of all these, then you you know if you're in the middle, in the balance point, then you can really leverage all of them and not be caught up in any of them. Okay, but they're also showing me that there's a spectrum within each of these is that within the circle is going to be where you're operating in a positive way. Outside of the circle is where you're kind of off balance, right? So in terms of the mind, this would be within the circle here, um, you're going to have your positive thoughts, right? Things that bring you up. Um, outside of the circle, you're going to have negative thoughts, right? So this is like kind of like the, the creative mind. You're going to create these thoughts, right? Um, within the spiritual thing. Within here, you're going to have uh, truth, right? Whoop. Again, I've got outside of here, we're going to have illusion. Um, so we need to be very, very aware of kind of where we are We are in here. And here with emotions, within there, you're gonna have um, the higher emotions, right? Which would be uh, things like love, peace, joy, right? Oops. If you're outside here, you're gonna have the lower emotions. Fear, guilt, shame. And in the body, you're gonna have within here um, things that lift up the body, right? If you're doing things that are like you're getting enough sleep, that kind of thing, if you're feeding your body well outside here, and these are things that kind of build up the body, right? And these are, are gonna be things that kind of when you when the body starts to experience disease right so body that's operating within here is going to be radiant health okay a body outside of here is going to be diseased if you know the mind within here is going to be a brilliant creative mind right it's like the genius mind outside of here it's going to be just a mind that's not not generating very thing, good things or that's miscreating right? Same here. If you're illusion, then your spiritual, your spiritual experience is going to be um, very unpleasant. W within the truth here, it's going to be more and more aligned. Okay? Emotions too. Um, fear, guilt, shame. We, we're all, we've all experienced these emotions, right? And, and it's just pretty miserable. <laughs> within here, you can choose that and the idea is when we're really centered and balanced in the in, in the in the middle then we can really kind of choose how to go ahead with all of these different parts of ourselves and all these spectrums so that's the powerpoint that we want to be and of course it's a discipline to learn to sit in that powerpoint but once you do you know that's that's a long way towards your genius and there's a whole other aspect to full alignment um, which is, I'm not going to get into right now, but ultimately, you know, this, this is the PowerPoint and there are things that you can do to learn to operate from this center point. And it does make the, the, the solar journey that we all go through, right? Um, the journey of a soul, 
so it makes it go much much smoother so think in terms of maybe living more in a tropical climate where it's it's a, a little bit less extremes of weather um i shouldn't say that there are storms too but but living where there are less extremes of weather versus some place where the weather is extreme that's kind of the difference right um it, it just makes the journey easier Okay, so I hope this has been helpful. The idea here really is to be as aware as we can and think of yourself as the, the awareness, the consciousness that, um, the consciousness that sits in the middle, right? To not get caught up in your emotions, to just be aware of the emotions, let them flow in and just be very conscious of them, right? To be conscious of, what you put in your body, how you treat your body, right? You want to stay within that that zone of genius in there, right? Um, to be conscious of the thoughts that we that go through our mind, and to start to shift those thoughts more towards the center into that that positive ring, right? Um, and you know, also the the spiritual, the energies, feeling into the energies. Um, you know, feel if an energy doesn't feel good then how can we shift that into an energy that does? I hope this has been helpful and we'll catch you again soon.